The Sniper Monkey was recently buffed in Balloon Sea Bows 2, and here is what they changed. First, Ninja Kiwi buffed the large caliber upgrade by making it $800 instead of $1,000. Next, they buffed the Shrapnel Shot by reducing the price by $50, and then they buffed the Sime Automatic by reducing the price by $200, and lastly, they buffed the Elite Defender, dropping its price from 16k to 14.5k. They said Sniper Monkey is not quite as strong as we would like, it lacks early game efficiency, and its bottom path is a little bit too expensive for what it does, so a few price cuts have been made. And because of these changes today, I wanted to use the Sniper Monkey in one of the best sniper strategies in the game, which is Ninja Alchemist and Sniper with Oceanobin. And with this loadout in specific, you can spam tons of supply drops and make infinite money, guys. And with that money, I will be sending infinite BADs and ZOMGs at my opponent. It gets pretty crazy, so let's hop right into it. And also, if you guys haven't already heard, there's currently a Battles 2 charity showdown going on where 15% of every transaction in the Battles 2 item shop goes straight to charity, and the top three creators with the most contributions get their own in-game cosmetics so if you guys want to support me please put code ryan mahalik in the battles to item shop and also here is the current leaderboard guys we're currently in fourth place but i do believe we have a chance of catching isab or tuity if we push hard in these last days of the challenge so thank you guys so much for the support but let's hop right into the video all right we are against yt bowler btd here from the clan bmc and I'm from the clan Ryan Mahalik clan, of course, and we're going Ocean Oban, so they're going DJ Benjamin as well. This will be an interesting one, though. We're on the map Star here, and we're going one of the best sniper strategies in the entire game, guys, which is Ninja Alchemist and Sniper. So we are going to start with my Alchemist here, which will be placed right about here, I think. Perfect. And then I want to get my Ocean Oban on round one as well is going to be important. So we'll try to get that. They're going Dartling. So it's probably Dartling Village Super Monkey for my... I'd imagine. Is there a loadout? No! I placed the wrong thing! Oh no. Okay. I leaked. I leaked. I messed up my start pretty badly. I leaked and I honestly shouldn't have leaked. It's fine though. I don't think leaking is a death sentence for me here. Um, because I'm pretty sure I can kill them before round 40, but it would have been nice if I didn't mess up that placement. Placing that sniper there kind of sucked, I'll be honest. That was not a very good play from yours truly. But yeah, you'll see why I, I feel like I can kill them before round 40 on this map, guys. Sniper can make you an insane amount of money with the supply drops. It's actually a very underrated farming method. So we will be using sniper farms in today's video, of course. Let's send him some blues. We'll just start max equaling off the rip, though. But yeah, definitely not the ideal start. I'll say that much. That's not the start we're looking for. But it is what it is. I don't really use ninja alchemist strategies too often. So I'm obviously not the best practiced with it upgrade my um ninja a little bit to get their dj benjamin round three that's totally fine and then we will send them a lot of pink balloons here i probably won't use sniper for a little bit the nice part about this loadout too is that it got buffed a lot recently um ninja has a lot more pierce now which is going to be very helpful for this loadout early game and whatnot because before the sharp shurikens if a sharp shurikens ninja it would have four pierce now it has five pierce and of course, in this loadout too, I am getting a pierce buff from my Ocean Oban. So with the Ocean Oban in addition, it has six pierce. So six pierce ninja actually goes pretty crazy for us. So I'll take that every day of the week. Let's send him some greens. They're sending me greens. I'm not gonna go. I'm gonna go for a second alchemist here because this second alchemist will just be a rubber to gold for us later. Because rubber to gold will be pretty important for us since um they are going an eco loadout. I want to make maximize my rubber to gold money, obviously. You can see they're targeting their dartling kind of funny. What? I don't know what my phone's doing over there. All right, I see you, bro. Dartling targeter, Mr. Dartling targeter. Let's keep throwing down these brambles in the back or the living coral, not brambles. Okay, if I have this one close, does it hit a different balloon than my? No, it hits the same balloon basically that my first alchemist hits. Let's keep this one on first then. Keep it on first. All right, and I don't know what our plan is against yellow balloons. This will probably defend an okay amount of yellows. I might get larger potions on this first one. Or I could get faster throwing, and that probably would defend infinite. We'll see, though. Let's get let's get larger potions. See how this does against yellow balloons. This should do pretty decent. Okay, we're sending them a lot of yellows, though. They're going to use DJ Benjamin ability against this, I'd imagine. My opponent will. So the yellow balloons will slowly override them. Yep, they use DJ Ben ability, and then they'll probably be good, because I'm kind of out of money to send yellows here. I'm, like, out of money... Just gonna get my eco up. Get my money up. 800 eco is not bad at all. Right now. We're gonna keep throwing on these living corals towards the back of the map. All is good. Should I get a double shot on my ninja? You're gonna need that. I technically don't need it yet. 
I'd like to spend as little money as possible on my ninja so then I can afford the um, rubber to gold easier, right? So that's why I've deliberately not really upgraded my ninja to the double shot and I've kind of just built up this alchemist up at the top. They're going alchemist. It's not even Darling Village Super Monkey. Oh, I definitely can kill them before round 40 then if it's an alchemist loadout. Yeah, I think it's Darling Ninja Alchemist. I 100% can kill them before round 40 with this loadout. So I, it's not even a problem that I've um, leaked, guys. It's not a problem that I've leaked. I'm not worried about it at all here. All is good. They're sending me some white balloons and pink balloons behind. I shouldn't really do anything. Yeah, we're good. Acidic mixture dip. Our eco is fantastic here. Oh, all of my Oban living coral has died out though, which is a little bit unfortunate. So hopefully that doesn't cause any major issues. Do I get an... Hmm, let's go rubber to gold. We got our rubber to gold up. Oh crap. We're fine. We're fine. All right, we're good. That got that was honestly badly played on mine. I'll be honest. I should have just alk buffed my double shot from the start, and I didn't. But it's okay. It's okay at the end of the day. It's not the end of the world. Let's get my lead to gold up for around um round 14 here. Perfect. And we will save it for rubber to gold as well. Definitely didn't play that the best, guys. I'll be honest. But I still think we've got really good chance this game. Our loadout is just fantastic late game is the first thing because we obviously have the perma brew with ninjas, but the good part about it is I also have cripple on the sniper and sniper income. So combining that with my loadout means I'm going to have a lot more money than my opponent will late game and probably a stronger late game, even though they have dartling late game, and I'm assuming they have ninja alchemist as well. I think sniper will outdo it with the cripple buff because the cripple um, works really well with blue jitsus. And then obviously the money advantage, as I said earlier. Let's get larger potions on this, though. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. And we will just continue eco on. I will want to place these snipers as condensed as possible when that comes around, but at the moment, there's no point to save it for a sniper farm. It's just going to be best for me to um, simply just max eco and make rubber to gold money. Is going to be the best decision for me. And we'll keep throwing down these living corals in the back of the map as well. Now, do I go for a second rubber to gold? Or do I go for a sniper farm next? What is the best economic decision? Um, if I was against a farm player, I probably would do the sniper farm. However, since I'm against an eco player and they will be sending me constant economy throughout the entire game, I think the second rubber to gold may be a smarter decision. Looks like my opponent's opting for the same exact thing here. There we go. All is good. I sold my alk buff. Don't really need it right now. They're not rushing me. I don't see the point. They'll go for a third rubber to gold. They're going for a third one. I don't think a third one's smart for me, to be honest. Because I, I think now at this point, I just start saving for sniper farms. This is the best play. Just start saving for sniper farms. On their side, since Alchemist is probably their only money making tower, they're probably just going to spam rubber to golds till the end of the time, which is their wisest play. But for me, I don't think it's very wise. We'll boost. All is good for me. We're fine. Alright, sell that. Get you up. Wait, this is on Elite. Put on first. Why is it on Elite? I hate Elite targeting, bro. Elite targeting almost just sold me the game. Elite targeting is so bad. It's actually so bad. It's unbelievable. Let's get up a rubber to gold up here. Perfect. Make some money from all these purple balloons they're sending me. Let's boost. Yeah, elite targeting is awful. That was way too close. And it wouldn't have been close if it was just on first. Okay, we're good. We're good. Start building up sniper farms. My rubber to golds won't get much value anymore. Um, Hopefully the snipers actually start chasing as the goal. Because I want the rubber to golds to be able to hit their purple balloons that they're sending me. Yeah, that's the, this is how I want it. The rubber to golds hit the purple balloons that they're sending me. And then the snipers pop everything afterwards. All right, keep going, sniper farms. I want to place these very condensely. The, the nice part about sniper farms, guys, which is why it makes you an insane amount of money, is you can fit a crazy amount of sniper farms. Comparatively, like, heli farms. Heli farms take up a lot more space per, 
And every heli farms 400 eco, every sniper farms 300 eco. So if you're talking about eco per space, like eco to space efficiency, sniper farms far outdo heli farms. So if we can get like a full map of sniper farms, we're going to be making crazy, crazy money. Like I'm, I'm not even exaggerating. It will, it will be insane. Yeah, their last tower is definitely ninja here though. 100%. If it's, a, if it's like Super Monkey, which I guess there's a chance it's Super Monkey, I still think I'm in a really good I still think I can beat them. I think no matter what their third is, I've got a pretty good shot. Okay, it is Ninja. Uh, they're about to die against an AI Moab? Question mark? Never mind. That's just screen lag, I guess. Good job. Great game. I'm probably going to stop my eco at 5k and just full focus on sniper farms. Yeah, 5k eco is good enough. Now we'll just full focus sniper farms. Okay, we're good. Let's keep spamming snipers. I want to place these very condensely here, guys. Very, very condensely. We can sell those. We don't need the rubber golds anymore. Our perma brew for late game will go like right here. Let's just fit a bunch of ninjas in here. I feel like I should be able to fit more. How many sniper farms do we have right now, guys? We have a crazy amount. I'm just going to keep spamming them. I'm just going to keep spamming them. I don't care. I should probably build up a perma on mine, though. Probably be a smart decision. Just to play it a little bit safe on my side. Just to have that guy up. Because you never know. I don't think they're going to rush me. Doesn't seem like they're trying to pressure me here. How many do I even have at this point, dude? Holy cow, I feel like every time I'm clicking this, there's like 15 that just come back instantly. Keep collecting these. I've got pretty much max sniper farms on the map. Get up a cripple at some point. Just to play it safe. The plan is just to wait till around 38, 39 and just send them infinite BADs, pretty much, guys. 38, 39, and we'll just send them an insane amount of BADs, and there's no shot they're going to defend. Now, obviously... I need to be somewhat prepared for counter rushes. Because that is a possibility. And my perma brew is definitely not in the most ideal spot of all time. It's part of the part of a problem here. Alright, we've got two hundred twenty thousand dollars. So and we've got now two hundred fifty thousand dollars. So we can send like eight BADs right now without selling a single sniper farm. Obviously, we can sell sniper farms to make us a ton more money on top of it, which we will be doing. And I fit a sniper down here. I think I can. I saw it. Perfect. This will be a cripple mob. And strong. Nice. All right, I've got almost $500,000 here. They're going to have a plasma accelerator on their side. Fair enough. I feel like there's no shot they can defend, bro. We got $500,000 to send BADs, and then we've got another probably... I don't even know an estimate to how much money I'll make from selling all these snipers, too. A crazy amount. 22 abilities with the level the max one. There we go. $600,000. Around 38, I mean. I'm going to start sending them a little bit spaced at them. Okay, we forced tower boost. I'll take that. Don't worry, guys. It looks like they're shredding. I want to get tower boost out of them. And now we'll um, balloon bot them. And balloon boost. Balloon bot them. And start selling off sniper farms. Now is where the rush comes, guys. This is the point where the opponent's like, oh crap. What do I do? You can send infinite BADs with sniper guys, snipers, guys. It's actually crazy. Look at their side right now. Look at their side right now. Okay, that's all I can send. If they defend, good good for them. But I don't think they're defending. There's no shot. Yeah, they're dead. They're dead. That was crazy, dude. And that was with my bad early game. Like, if I played the early game more cleanly, I definitely could have had even more money. 
All right, I'll catch you guys in the next sniper match. Let's get it. All right, guys, dude, that last match was pretty crazy. We sent them so many BADs, but our next match here is on the map of Sun Palace with the loadout Ninja Alchemist uh, sniper. Once again, I'm trying to get this Alchemist in here. Yep, there we go. Can fit an Alchemist in here, which is pretty nice. Opponent start with the Dart Monkey, and I think they brought Smudge Cat Azealia as well, which I thought was really interesting. Smudge Cat here is not something that you see too often these days, so curious as to what the loadout will be from Pressure Man. Or it's not even Pressure Man, it's Passive Man. They changed their name. It's Passive Man now. Bros changed from Pressure Man to Passive Man. What is going on there? Okay. All right. But they got their Dart and their Smudge Cat down. Nicely done. Starting with the Trip Dart over there. This is a pretty good elk spot because obviously it hits the balloons like right in this little triangle part. So it should have a pretty good uh, job maximizing its pierce there. We got our ocean open down as well. And then we will get my ninja. We want our ninja to be in the range of the alchemist. So probably like right here was where I placed my ninja at that point. Okay, they want an eco loaded actually. Interesting. Dart, smudge cat, eco. This might be a similar match to the last one, guys, where I just get like a million sniper farms and send a absolutely humongous BD rush at my opponent. Because I feel like they've got some sort of um late game eco loadout. Maybe like Dark Blue Village from my opponent with Smudge Cat Azili. Like, that could be their loadout. That's, that's my current guess. That's my current guess. I might be wrong. I've been wrong before, guys. It's it's not common, but it's happened. I've been wrong before. Let's get a uh, strong grass on that. And we'll get sharp shurikens on this. I also want to throw down a living coral here. Perfect. They got their crossbow up with the trip darts. So they'll be good. At, they'll be good against these balloons with, with that. The one thing though is that their crossbow and trip darts really good against like green balloons and spaced white, spaced blacks. But it's not very good at all against grouped yellow balloons that will be coming out at them on round seven. So they will for sure need extra defense when round seven hits. Hundred percent. Hundred p guys. Hundred p. Now one thing about this map is that there is an insane amount of sniper spots. So I should, in theory, if I play early game and stuff well and greed properly, I should, in theory, be able to get pretty nice sniper farmage action. Are they balloon boosted? I'm just going to go for a double shot here. I'm just going to go for a double shot against the balloon boost. I'll need it for yellow balloons anyways in round 7. But the one thing is that the rounds do get anti-stalled a lot on this map, so maybe it won't be very rich. Oh, it's actually Mortar. I did, that would be Dark Blue Village. Yeah, Dart Mortar. There's no way they're going to be, there's no way they're going to survive round 40 with their loadouts. So them having a life advantage on me is not really um much of a concern. And I'm thinking it's not really much of a concern for me right now. No clue as to what their third is still, but I'm comfortable facing against Dart Mortar here. I'm comfortable with it. The Mortar does pretty well against the balloons for them though. So they could show with just a base Mortar and the Trip Dart and the Crossbow there. It's nicely done. Okay, if they send me like region zebras, I'm gonna go for a stronger acid, faster throwing on my end. So send me normal zebras. We'll go for a stronger acid. We'll make a faster throwing as well. We'll throw down more living coral. All right, all is good. 850 eco is not bad at all here. Not bad at all, chat. I'll take it. Now the plan would be to get up a rubber to go as soon as possible. But last time, if you remember on star, I greeted for the rubber to go too hard, and then I had to sell it because my opponent rushed me. So, I might want to go for a Berserker Brew first. Actually, we're defending Space Rainbow is completely fine with our setup right now. So, I don't even need Berserker Brew yet. I don't even need it yet. Maybe I just greed for it again. Do, do, do Have I learned my lesson, chat? Probably not, but maybe I just greed for it again here. I can afford the Berserker Brew still. I'll, I'll make some good lead to gold money as well, well this round. Rubber to gold has been bought. Keep throwing down these living corals in the back. It seems like the opponent's pretty um keen on playing this game passively here. Because I have very little defense on my end. But So I'm guessing they trust in their late game with their loadout. I don't know, dude. I feel like their late game is not going to be that great. No matter what their third is, I'm not worried about them having like any th secret third tower that'll be able to fend my rushes, so. Am I good here? Dude, I'm actually good with that? Oh my gosh, dude. Living Coral OP. I'm actually good with just an Alk buff double shot against that? Come on now. Come on now. Ninja is so strong, dude. 
With these new Pierce buffs they've added to Ninja, it's so good now. I don't know why they necessarily buffed Ninja. I feel like it didn't really need them, but you'll be seeing Ninja a lot this season. And then obviously Sniper is a great money-making method now as well. They have buffed the Sniper quite a bit, so we'll be bringing out the Sniper here pretty soon to start building up some Sniper farms and whatnot. Do I go for a second Rubber to Gold first, or do I go for a Sniper first? Question of the day, ladies and gentlemen. Question of the day. Rubber to Gold or Sniper? I might go Rubber to Gold. Yeah, we'll do Rubber to Gold first. I'm just gonna wait though until I kind of have enough money for the Rubber to Gold, then I'll place it. Because if he does rush me, I want to make sure I'm floating money for like a Blue Jitsu. Right now. Still no, still no um inclination of a rush. Okay. They have Sniper as well. What? Dart, Sniper, Mortar. Yeah, there's no way they defend late game. There's no shot, bro. There's literally no shot. We've got a much, much better late game than them. Ninja Alchemist late game. It's basically Ninja Alchemist late game versus Dart Mortar late game. And uh, Ninja Alchemist is so much stronger. Plus, we're making rubber to gold money here, which is going to be really nice for us. Oh, they need to be careful against the AI balloons here. The AI balloons are looking deadly on their side. Oh, they're actually kind of deadly on my end as well. Are they dead? They leak. They're alive. They're alive. Supply crate. We both got our supply drops up. Nicely done. Nicely done. Let's use trees. Let's use that ability. We're going to start spamming some snipers on our end. We got two sniper farms up now. I'd like to upgrade this to an elite sniper pretty soon here. Yeah, they got an elite sniper on their end as well. Nicely done. Let's do the same on mine. When this ability comes back, I'll have it. Perfect. The rubber to golds aren't that useful anymore in it though, because now the elite snipe, my sniper farms soon will be popping all of these balloons before my rubber to golds can kind of get to them. So eventually here, I'll just want to sell off my rubber to golds probably. They've already done their job. They've already done their job. So let's sell one. Let's get that up. I am ahead quite a bit on sniper farming right now though, which is fantastic. So we'll take that 100%. All right. We've got some pretty good sniper farming on my end so far. Just keep spamming these. I'm just pre-placing a lot of low tier snipers so I can upgrade them pretty easily here. Is my um thought process with it. I'm gonna stop my eco at 5k once again. We'll go to 5k eco like I did last game. Like I did in the previous match. I still have three boosts available which is great as well. They don't cur- I currently have life advantage, but my opponent will have life advantage at the end of the game because they have um, life rejuvenation with Smudge Katazili there, so. Alright, 5,000 eco. Keep spamming these. We don't have my perma brew right here, probably. I'm just going to pre-buy the perma brew this game because I feel like it's more likely that my opponent rushes me this game than the previous game, so I, I want to play it a little bit safe with the defense. Okay, at the moment, it doesn't look like they're rushing me. Now we'll spam snipers even more. Oh my gosh, the sniper noise is actually crazy, guys. Hopefully it's not too loud for you. The sniper noise right now is crazy from all these crates coming down. I think this game, unlike last game, our plan will be, instead of sending infinite fortified BDs, I'm going to send them infinite ZMGs. And you might be saying, Ryan, why would you send infinite ZMGs when they have mortar? Guys, the amount of ZMGs we send, mortar won't be able to defend. Trust me, I'll be able to send so many. That and the thing is, their dart and snipe, their dart and their sniper doesn't really do much against ZMGs whatsoever. So it's basically going to be their mortar only defending the ZMGs, and it won't be able to keep up. So that'll be the plan for me. Just send them infinite ZMGs late game, literally infinite. Okay, I think that might be it for sniper farming here. Let's go for a grandmaster on my end. Let's sell that Sabo and replace it with a Shinobi. Where is it? This will be where I have my total transformation for late game. Let's get a Master Bomber on my end. We're also going to get a Cripple up on Strong right here. We're going to outbuff it. All right. Total transformation will be here pretty soon. Let's throw down some trees. They're spamming the mortars, bro. Oh, dude. It, they don't know what's about to come their way. I'm telling you right now. They are not ready. I definitely don't have as much money as last game. Um... Just because the rounds got anti stalled a lot more on this map, so obviously we weren't built. And I did kind of stop my sniper farming early, but it's all good. It's all good. It's still going to be absolutely crazy what I'm about to do. 
And I'm not going to send fortified ZMGs because they have a blue incineration, so all of them would be defortified anyways. So definitely we'll just send normal ZMGs my opponent's way. It's going to be the smartest decision here. A big normal ZMG rush is how it's going to go down. I mean, I've almost got 300k right now, so my money's not bad, especially with selling all these sniper farms. I'll be able to make a lot more selling the sniper farms off to rush them. I might do the same thing where I balloon bought them as well. Balloon bought the ZMGs when I send them their way. Let's use... Wait, what? Oh, wait. No, crap. I thought it was a total transformation. Look how fast we shred these, by the way, with the cripple. The cripple and the total transformation. Okay, let's send them. Let's boost. It might have been smarter for me to send BADs, by the way, guys. I'm just sending these for the for the memes, to be honest. I think ZOMGs are a cooler send. But they are doing a good job at them right now, so maybe I threw the match. There's definitely a possibility I'm throwing. Let's go for an elite sniper on my end. Elite defender. Strong. No, they're not, they're not defending. They're not defending. They're not defending. It's starting to overrun them. Let's go for a total transformation micro on my end. Start selling off sniper farms. Boost. Yeah, look at their side. Look at their side right now. They're not defending, 100%. We're gonna micro total transformation in a second here. Micro. Send them more. I should probably go for a um grand sabotage grand saboteur on my end. I don't know why I didn't do that earlier. Look how many there are. They're just trying to stun them. They're just trying to stun my ZOMGs right now, I think. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. This is crazy. Let's micro this one more time. We won! Oh, what a rush! What a rush! And we defended all of their fortified BDs as well. That just shows you how strong Ninja Oak Sniper is, because I didn't even have that much defense on my end. I'll take it, though. GG's!